I want to show you a few things about the condensing feature in Darko. It's a great feature. It allows me to take multiple staves and condense them into single staves. So in this case, I've got a two tenors, two bases. Um, obviously, typically this is up on a lot to a tenor base, um, but I want to condense the top two into one and the bottom two into one. So um, the, the first trick, if I go up to the edit menu and select condensing here, nothing happens. And this actually changed somewhere in, a, in an earlier v version. It would, uh, it would automatically do something for me, but it doesn't do it anymore. So I'm going to take condensing back off. I'm going to go to the setup top left and then down to the settings in the bottom right for layout options. Select players and then condensing. And here's where we need to take a look at this. So custom condensing groups. There don't appear to be any non-custom condensing groups anymore. It used to be soprano and alto automatically did. Tenor bass automatically did. But we're going to have to create them. So I hit the plus button, select tenor, the shift key, tenor two, okay, and that adds that as one group. Plus, select bass, shift, bass two, okay, adds it as a second group, and apply. Now I'll go back over to my music, go into the right, and um, now if I go edit and condensing, Condenses. You can see I've got one staff for tenor one and two, one for bass one and two. Great. But if I scroll down to the bottom of this particular piece of music, you'll notice here, measure 15, we didn't get condensing for the tenor parts. They stayed apart. And couldn't figure out why for a bit until I realized, well, the issue is right here. The last two notes in this uh, line have um, voice crossing. And it, uh, by default, Dorico will split the, will keep the staff separate when there's a uh, voice crossing. So uh, let's take a look here at the documentation that I found from Dorico per flow notation options. And if you look at pitch crossing right here, um, the problem is that it, uh, it actually gives you the, well, this is the correct information, um, but where you find this, the settings are wrong, it says condensing page, right notation options. So um, back to Dorico. And so what I found was if you go to the library menu, notation options, condensing, and from here, you can find pitch crossing. And this was not at all <clears throat> obvious to me, but I just dug around until I found it. So um, there's the default is limit pitch crossing. And when you select that, you can say what's the maximum number of pitch crosses allowed in a region. Or allow unlimited pitch crossing, which is what I selected. So apply that. And voila, here are... Staves are now condensed into one. So that took care of that problem. One other thing to note is that by default, if I had, I'm going to turn off condensing, um, you'll note that my lyrics here are in between the tenor and bass line. My default behavior normally is to attach my lyrics to my top line, which is typically your melody. And um, so that's where I would put those lyrics. But if you do that, with condensing, I'll go ahead, shift L and just put in fin M. And then we go back and turn condensing on. Those lyrics that you attach to the soprano, if I even if I didn't have these, uh, or well, the tenor one line, uh, even if I didn't have this tenor two line, all of those lyrics would end up showing up over the top. Um, and I'm sure there's another way to fix this, but uh, generally speaking, my Music is not uh, does not involve um, complex counterpoint in the voices, so this works fine for me to use the the middle or the second voice, the tenor two or the alto voice for that. One final thing to note is, uh, and this can be kind of frustrating if you're not aware of what's going on. If you're in condensing mode, you cannot edit. So um, even though I'm in the right mode for the page as soon as i go into condensing 
the uh, the page becomes not editable uh, editable so make sure if you need to make any edits you're going to have to go back and disable the condensing mode before you can make any edits i think that's it for today i hope that's helpful to somebody out there catch you again soon cheers <laughs>